What is up everyone? This is your main man 50 Grand Chukatron back in the stand and right now I'm going to be doing an unboxing interview on this big fella from the Transformers the Movie Studio Series 86. It is Rekgar. Yes, we get the leader of the Junkians from the original movie which is my favorite movie and the movie is actually re releasing in theaters soon uh, in I forgot what I think it's AdamTickets.com. Uh, you can find the movie is re-releasing in certain theaters so if you guys want to see the actual movie in movie theaters you guys could check that out i got to see it maybe two years back right before covid and it was pretty awesome because i got to see that with my kids so anyways without further ado let's take a look at the figure i want to take a look at him now in the packaging right now he's beautifully displayed now on the front of mine it's all scratched up and this is how it looks like they're coming because i've seen a few of these and the packaging's all scraped up in the front so you can't really see uh, you know him clearly because of all this scratching and all this stuff, but there he is. I see him pretty good um, He might show up a little bit funky in the camera uh, We notice him there He's nicely displayed with his nips all out and it looks like he has a nip protector right in the inside There's a nice illustration of him right there Which really looks cool and that looks like when he's about to attack uh, Springer in the movie He's about to bash him in with that that axe and on the side there We do have the Transformers logo on the side there. There's a close-up on him in his uh, robot mode nice illustration and on the back there's a look at the promo pictures he looks really nice from what i see so far and yeah i can't wait to take him out so let's do it let's do this yeah all right so here's a look at him with the inside bubble we got a better look right now as his accessories we noticed the two tires right there uh yeah that looks pretty cool you notice the uh the axe right there let's look at the front and the back and here's a look at the background that he comes with. So there's a look at it, and it looks like the planet of junk. And we notice that he does have the ship that he ends up flying uh, to Unicron later on in the movie right there in the back. And I think it really looks nice. And here's a look at the instruction pamphlet. So I'm assuming it's gonna transform just like the original G1 toy or something like that. And yeah, kind of looks mostly like the G1 toy, but there's a look at the front and the back. So. Yeah, it looks like 22 steps. Hopefully we can get through this. All right, guys, so here's the figure out of the packaging. And first impressions, I really love it. This, to me, feels like a, a definitive Rekgar figure. So if you're looking for, uh, you know, a Rekgar, this is definitely the one to get. This one is, so far from when I look at it, it looks amazing. We noticed it there that he looks like he's straight out of the cartoon. But he does have, you know, technical details that definitely show him off. Semi-masterpiece style, so it's really cool and I do love it. Um, I like when a figure doesn't have just a toony look, but it looks like, you know, a toy. So this is a beautiful blend of both worlds. So I'm going to take a look at him on the front there. We'll start from the top to the bottom. Start off right on the top with the head mold there. The head mold looks perfect. It has this light blue paint right on the top. We have some uh, red paint right there in the middle of his head. We do have this uh, shiny gold uh, paint right there on the side of his head. Uh, the face is perfect. I mean, I think they did a great job. Look at the eyes. The eyes are like outlined with some black paint, so it kind of gives them this glowing look. I love the way that looks. So cool. Very cartoony. Uh, the face looks awesome. The mustache looks really cool. Even the part right here um, on his chin, the little chin here. Uh, mine's came a little bit separated, so you could squeeze that right back into place. And I think the head mold is, is sheer perfection. I mean, everything on it. It's got all the colors. All the little details, it just looks amazing. Uh, of course, we move down to the chest. He does have the, the nips that we saw him with in the, um, the movie. And these things are actually, you can actually tilt them around. They have like a ball joint, so you can aim them up like that or on the side or whatever. So <laughs> that, that's a weird thing about him. And <laughs> the first thing I did when I showed this to my kids, like, wow, look at those nips. Yep, he was like that in the cartoon. So I think that looks great. His chest looks great. Uh, accurate to the cartoon, the, the bottom portion here of his abs. Uh, his arms look great. He does have so much different colors. This figure is definitely worth the money that you pay for it. You're getting so much here as far as colors and the way that Hasbro's being lazy with a lot of things. You're getting a lot with this figure. So this is this this already is a definite must. Uh, we know it's the brown right there. We have that uh, orangey color right there. Uh, some little uh, miss miss paints like on the arm here. There's a little bit of smudging. On some of that, I see a little bit of fingerprinting from whoever did this or some kind of pattern right there on his arms. But overall, it looks great. I love the arms. 
they do have these pieces right here the spikes on the side and they might come bent for you but what you could do is you could just take like a hair dryer or something or some warm water dip it in some warm water you can straighten these out uh, i love it though it looks perfect this is a perfect perfect figure uh looking at the hands right now uh yeah there's a look at the hands with that light cream color and that's probably my only gripe that the hands you know you can't open them and close them but i mean they do look perfect from what they are you see the details right there uh the crotch area looks good perfect it has all the different colors and all that noticing all the details on his legs i love his legs his legs look really cool there's a look at them they do have this orange paint with the brown plastic on the back and i love the way they look and it's like different shades of red so we got one kind of like two three a little bit right here this is shaded like this one and i just love the color scheme something cool about red guard is even the g1 toy had it it just has a cool color scheme so there's a look at the front here's a look at him on the side now check this out notice his profile there <laughs> it looks amazing man it looks just like the cartoon like he had the same profile in the cartoon and there's a look on the side and on the back there look at the back it has this gold paint right here uh what would be the gas tank for a motorcycle it has some detailing right there of the cap for where you put the gas in got the handlebars there i haven't transformed it yet but i'm loving the way that this looks it is just sheer perfection and obviously we do have some gaps right here um from the transformation i'm pretty sure that's where his hands will go but you know for what it is i'm glad that they did it like this because a lot of the figures have it on the inside which kind of is kind of like a blow right here uh, we notice here we have a little gap there but it doesn't look too bad but they're in the bottom where they fold in instead of folding into the side which is a way better uh, idea so there's a look at him in his robot mode i think he looks awesome two thumbs up hasbro they did an amazing job amazing all right on to the articulation points let's take a look at the head and yeah that does rotate fully 360 degrees uh, we noticed some detail right there with the speedometer and the tachometer on the back there there's some detailing right there as you can see that looks great yeah and he's got really good motion on his in his head i'm assuming due to the transformation later on we get some good range it can tilt uh forward and back like that can't really do it side to side but can rotate really smoothly all the way around uh, his arms go up and down with some really good range we notice that it does have some details here i love this armpit section it has like a little like slinky type thing coming out from the side so it really looks good it gives you that really good range look how, how high that can go up almost wow look at that a full 180 almost uh, the arms can rotate all around 360 degrees he does have that bicep joint that allows him to rotate all around his elbows are really nice they go forward and back almost 180 degrees and his hands does rotate around 360 degrees waist can rotate around nicely 360 degrees he also has this kind of ab crunch right there that little point but i'm assuming that's due to the transformation but you can kind of have him looking down also so that's really cool on the legs there they do go out and in forward and back 180 degrees on both sides this actually goes up 90 right there and he does have that thigh swivel Let's check out the knees the knees can go back 90 degrees and they can even go forward about 45. he does have the ankle tilt point but if you notice that position right there it's kind of like a half one right there like if you see it it has like a swivel right there that can go forward and back about 90 degrees due to the transformation i'm assuming and you also got that little position right there which you can have them in some wide poses now another cool thing is these joints right here they really have a good ratcheting so it's not like he's a flimsy this thing actually ratchets like click 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 really nice so awesome posability for this awesome figure all right let's move on to the accessories he does come with this axe spinning thing helicopter thing never knew what it was it's just an axe basically and it does spin um I'm not sure if this goes into his transformation. I never had this, the, the 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 actual accessory on the original figure, but I believe it was just a solid piece. This actually is actually two pieces. So we notice it there. It looks just like it did in the cartoon. That part, and on the back here is a gray plastic. On the front here is a red plastic. So it has nice little detail there, kind of like a motorcycle rim. It's got like little details right there. It looks awesome. On the back there, we notice that it does have a peg right here. And the handle part, we could just put that on him like that. 
kind of have them like in the cartoon. Another thing you can also do with the axe, that little peg right there that's on the back, you can actually port it right to the little hole it has right on his back. So you can actually have it right there. Like we remember uh, him pulling that out from the back. And I think that stores perfectly on the back there. You can have it like that or kind of tilt it and you can carry it there, no problem. And the next accessories are the two uh, wheels and tires. So if you look at them there, really nicely painted, just like the cartoon. Uh, we do have this gray plastic around uh, the, the rim and it does have these red spikes. And I'm assuming you could just put them on the spikes right here. So there's a look at that and they do spin really nice. So I remember Redgar having uh, one on his arm right here, like a shield. Boom, and that fits perfectly. Check that out. Wow, that is really cool. And then he also had one on his leg right there from when we first see him in the actual cartoon movie. And I think that looks awesome. Perfect. They're not too big and too clunky, so they kind of like... I love the, the, the proportions. It's, just, it's perfect. There's not like a huge freaking tire there and there. You can actually kind of like pose them with it uh, without making it look too goofy. So I do love them. Those are his accessories. I kind of wish he came with the little TV that he pops out in the, 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 in the movie, but there's his accessories. I think they look great and they actually, they slot right in perfectly. They don't stay loose. They fit really nice. some figures that are from the movie also I, I do have the studio C series 86 hot rod figure that is the kingdom uh ultra magnus figure and of course the first guy he battles is springer so just for size comparison he is a pretty big um voyager si class size figure and i do like that he's big uh the original toy was huge compared to all the other figures so there's a look at that i do love how he scales he scales perfectly i love how they just keep varying the sizes of all the figures there. So you're not going to get a, a Voyager class that's exactly the same size. But you'll get them within that proportion. But I think he looks awesome. He's a little bit bigger uh, than Springer. Uh, but he, I think he fits perfectly in scale with the others. And here he is standing with his original G1 figure. Here's a look at the original G1 figure. And I, my figure is kind of minty. But I do love this figure. It, now that I look at it, it looks corny as hell. But... <laughs> This is a really, uh, everybody liked Redgar, and I don't know, most people I know like the original G1 figure. It looks a little goofy, but there's a look at both of them together. And here's a look at him with the display that he comes with. I think he fits perfectly. Now, what I kind of wanted to wish is to get Ultra Magnus up in this piece, because I always remember when Ultra Magnus got wiped out in the movie, and I wanted to see how it would fit. Oh yeah, Ultra Magnus fits almost perfectly. Look, a little bit high, but... He actually, the box is actually taller than him, which I didn't think it was going to fit in there. But if you guys want to recreate the scene where he gets blown a bits by Galvatron, which I do have, uh, yeah, you can actually do that really nicely. All right, let's get on with the transformation. So his transformation is a little bit complicated, uh, kind of very similar to the original figure. Uh, just a little few more steps, but I'm going to try to do this nice and clean for you guys. And if you guys don't know how to transform them, and you want to check out a video on how to do it, I'm going to try to do this just for you because it can be a little bit complicated with the instructions. So first thing what I'm going to do is take his arms. I'm just going to rotate them upward about 90 degrees up just to get them out of the way. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole chest section, fold it out about 90 degrees and extend it right there with that, uh, that whole joint right there, whatever you want to call it, that hinge. Pull that out like that. And next what I'm gonna do is take this whole center part. You grab the part right here, and this is gonna be uh, the glass area that's gonna come into the motorcycle. So what you gotta do is rotate that up about 180 degrees, like that. Uh, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the hands and just fold them into the cavity like so. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Fold that in. And next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this whole section right here and kind of just push that right back in kind of how it was and I'm gonna take Retgar's head and just put it into the cavity right there like that so you notice there it kind of looks like the original figure so far so the nips were right there in the original figure so they're gonna go right back into that section and this has kind of an auto morphing feature on the glass so when you put the glass up like that this section goes inward so that's normal uh, don't be afraid of that 
Uh, next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the arms and this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm gonna rotate this section inward uh, 90 degrees, uh, this part of the joint. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the arms and I'm kind of just gonna fold them so that they're like this. So it's kind of a weird thing to do. So you kind of got to get everything into its position and then I'll show you what to do next. So remember to get the other one, same thing as well. Kind of play with this so that you end up kind of like this. That's where you want to end up at. So the arms are going to lean forward. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate them to the point where if you look at the front here, there's two tabs that peg right onto the arm right there. So what you can do is put them in like that. And that's all you really want to go for is to get that position like there. Now that's the probably the most complicated part to do. And what I'll do is I'll continue going onto the handlebars. You just rotate them upward like so. So that's pretty much it for the whole front section. Now all you got to do next is if you look on the side here, you could take the actual tire and just kind of wedge it in between those two joints like that. And so you got the whole front section done already. So next up, what I'm gonna do is the mid section here. So what you wanna do is just take this whole uh, front portion like this. Now you could have done it while you were doing the front, but I like to keep it simple. So now I'm gonna move uh, from this section to this section. So you go into the middle section, just rotate that like that. So now you're done with that mid section. And then you wanna take the, uh, the waist area and kind of just, if you saw what I did, I kind of just rotated that all out so that all the hinges are straight forward. Uh, next, what I'll do is I'll just take the leg right here, bend the knee forward, locking it in like that. Take the other side, you do the same thing, rotate it forward, and it kind of just snaps real nicely. Uh, take the ankles here, rotate them forward like that, like that. Now, at this point, you're going to want to put the tire in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right in to those slots right between the knees like that and then finally what i'll do is i'll take the tabs right here if we notice on the feet there's two little holes a slot right here and a tab right there you just want to lock that into the place get it nice and tight and repeat the same thing on the other side perfect so that's pretty much it in his motorcycle mode now for the last piece what you could do is take the actual axe take that little peg right there and on the back right here in his butthole bam you can just put it like that that's it right there so there's the motorcycle mode all right so lastly what you can do is on the bottom of his legs here there's actually little parts right there that you can just pop out about 90 degrees and they kind of serve as kickstand so you can have the figure very stable kind of not, not falling over if you want to pose them like this or you know have them like that you can as well all right guys so here's a look at the figure now in his alt mode the motorcycle mode and man i do love it man i think it looks perfect uh, there's some kind of like you know aesthetic type of things that are a little bit off um like this section right here on the back is just an empty cavity but it is really nice i mean it looks awesome we'll take a look at the side there you notice all the different colors on the front here we got some gold paint on the mid section right here where the tank is nice awesome paint that we saw earlier it's got all these different shades of orange brown uh, blue cream all types of different colors and i do love the way that that looks i think it looks amazing compared to the original g1 toy man they did such a good job on this there's a look at the side there we notice all the little details there's a top view of it we notice the spike sticking out looking real rad and awesome take a look at the front there that looks really good i mean it kind of looks like a representation of a bike but obviously it's like a cybertronian funky garbage bike i think it really looks good it looks very true uh, to the original uh, design there's a look at it on the other side i love the flame work right here on the gas tank i think it looks awesome there's a look at the top there we noticed that it does have these uh saddle bags which are really nice uh kind of reminds me of those old bikes there that used to have these really nice there they do have some nice detail we do have some detail right here of the engine which is really rad love that the way that looks nicely detailed there and on the other side as well Notice that these little pads right here look pretty cool. Kind of look like some place to put your feet. Really nice. And yeah, the, the, the tires look really good. They roll really good uh, on both sides. This one's kind of a little bit tight, but this one, very loose. Really nice. You can actually roll them around. Unfortunately, the spikes on the bottom don't allow it to roll because it kind of like grips. Uh, it doesn't really move too, too good like that. But overall, the design is it's on point. Uh, there's a look at the bottom. And I love the design, love the design. I think it's perfect. So 
Uh, if you agree with me, leave a comment on the bottom there. Let me know what you think about it. In my opinion, it looks great. All right, for a scale comparison to see how he looks in his alt mode, here he is uh, in his bike mode with a figure that I kind of wanted to get him to try to test drive here. So here it is, the Studio Series Hot Rod figure. And you could kind of have him there uh, riding Retgar if you wanted to. And I think that's pretty cool. There's a look at that there. He fits pretty, you know, it's kind of small. Not really perfectly in scale, but you can have him there. And I think he looks really cool. But there's a look at him. His hands feel pretty good on the handlebars. So you could kind of have him like that. And being that he does have these hands, it's kind of better to just have him in there like that. So that's pretty cool. There's Hot Rod there. Now imagine if I transform Hot Rod right now, the scale would be a humongous motorcycle next to a tiny little car. So as far as it being for other Transformers, it fits them perfectly. And I do love that you can do that. So as you can see, I got a little carried away with this figure. I love this figure and I give it a solid 10 out of 10. It's so much fun. Perfect adaptation of the character. Till next time, this is Chukatron signing out saying peace, love, harmony, and God bless. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, chances are you'll enjoy another one. Hit the subscribe and notification bell for more Chukatron content.